Hello Libras. I've got nine cards, actually ten cards because two came out for one position, um, that are about the needs, wants, future orientation, and the things that you and your partner are holding on to. So we've got a set of cards that are you and a set of cards that are your partner and we'll be considering all of those four things for each of you. This reading is good for four weeks from the date that it is posted, so it kind of straddles the um, October and November, the boundaries of October and November. Uh, I also do a singles reading, so this is specifically for people who are in a committed relation relationship. So if you're single or you're sort of in between, you might want to also check out the um, singles reading which I will have a link to in the information box below this video and down there you will also find more information about me you'll find um, my schedule for the videos that I put out and I always uh, do ask if people are you know if this is a time of life where your love relationship is a focus for you go ahead and subscribe so let's get to it I do like to keep my um, my videos fairly short for busy people. So this is the overall energy. You have the Prince of Cups, which is Tristan of the, um, I don't know, is it a Celtic tale of Tristan and Isolde? Um, and what is coming across here? So this is, I mean, he is a classic um, devoted male uh, love a deep and abiding love, okay? Um, but, you know, he was kind of had some divided loyalties. And so what I see here, love won out, but he did have some divided loyalties that he had to kind of resolve within himself. And what I see here overall is that um, there is some ambivalence on the part of your partner in regards to your power and ambition. Is it, you know, it, this might not even be something that you're completely aware of. Is it um, going to damage the relationship? I don't think so. I think that you will be able to find harmony, which is your Libra thing, and um, you will both be perfectly happy. But there may be some rough moments and this reading may just make you aware of some things kind of going on under the surface. All right, so what what are your needs? Your need is this, which looks kind of silly. What does that say there? Oh, hate me. Oh, my goodness. No. Um, so supposedly this is supposed to be somebody acting out. But I don't think that's what this is really. But it is clearly she's trying to be in control here. And in this position, which is the, you know, what you need, is that you need to feel in control. Excuse me, I have to reach for some glasses that will allow me to see things better. Um, you know, you need to be in control, guiding the situation. Um, Maybe, you know, there is something where you're feeling a little, I don't know, petulant is the word that comes to mind. But these are kind of strange cards. Um, I think that they can be very true and give us a lot of insight. Even that she's, she looks like she almost has like a little maid outfit on. So maybe it's around the house you're really wanting to get control of maybe not even your partner, but of everything to get it exactly the way you want it, you know, you've got the checkerboard there that's, you know, all has clearly defined places for everything. Um, whereas what your partner needs is really kind of interesting. This is card is called insecurity. So your partner actually wants you to swoon a little and not, and it's not even that he doesn't want you to be in control of this environment or in control of a situation, but he wants to feel needed. He wants you to swoon a little bit, to um, uh, express any insecurities you have, to give him an, an opportunity to 
kind of come in and be the loving hero. So, yeah. Now, I'm not saying that you should do that. <laughs> I'm just saying that that is something that he needs. All right, so this is where I say that there are um, kind of role things going on with the whole independent, um, capable woman and making, not making, but resulting in a man tending to feel a little... Um, like he's he's lost his role somehow. If only, if only we could finally get sort of beyond that sort of thing. But <laughs> someday, someday maybe. I don't think in my lifetime. But some of you younger people, the you might be further along. Um, so once, okay, you are ready to rise. That's the way I see this. She's got a bubble. And she's lifting off, and she's got all her little bird friends kind of helping her lift off. She hardly has to have any effort at all. And so, and that's what I see here, is you lifting off. This is the Ace of Pentacles, so it could have to do with a job or finances. You may, you know, you may finally get a job that allows you more freedom or a sense of being able to do much more in your life. I'm sorry, the webcam is not refocusing here. There we go. Um, so, yeah, that's what you want. And I feel like that's in, in you know, in harmony with what you need. You need to be in control as you're moving on, moving up. Yep, and that's the Knight of Pentacles also. So, um, so it's Pentacles and Pentacles. So you need to be in charge of your physical environment. You're you're ready to fly. It could be that you're ready to move. It could be that you're ready to change some things in your physical environment. Um, it could be health-wise that you're ready to rise and be stronger and that sort of thing. Um, your partner wants, I think he wants, and I think, I mean, I think this is both of you, to be honest. When it first came up, I thought, well, this is him, even though it's a female figure. It's the green woman, and it's about growth. You know, growing things, creating things. It's like she's creating these little creatures. Um, and she's got all that growth around her. So it's about growth, growing. And so I feel like he wants to also do this. So this is, in a sense, he wants you to do this, even though he wants you also to be, to swoon on occasion and let him be the one to take control or to be the rescuer, but I think he's also fascinated by you being this, and he wants to be this, and I think that he sees that the two of you are actually in in harmony this way. You want this growth, and that's, you know, and he wants this growth, both of you, and that's mirrored here also. It's interesting to me that um, your partner has three major arcana cards, so this is a bigger, it's all a bigger deal for him than it is for you. And he may have, um, you kind of are naturally rising. <laughs> you are naturally rising. Where I think that he, um, well, and I think maybe that natural rising is creating a situation where he needs to, um, <clears throat> You know, it's easy for you. This is this is you, and he's having to make a major adjustment in in the way he perceives his place in a relationship, and how because I think he wants you. He wants the growth. He wants to see you as someone who does this. He also wants to be somebody who does this, and uh, so he has to um, kind of accept your power and yet still hang on to his notion of being masculine and being the rescuer and being the hero, etc. Okay, future orientation. 
you're feeling, I would say, um, I don't know if you say, cranky is the word that came to mind, and I think that this is you, not the little monster there. Um, but you're needing to release some pent up, I don't think it's like outright anger. But you know, these two cards kind of go together. What you're needing, you know, I don't know if it's ideas. Maybe there's some shadow aspect of you that you're needing to deal with, because I don't think that this is your partner. So I think this is, I don't know who you're needing to release things to. Um, and so I almost feel like this is some aspect of you that you're combating, fighting with, warding off with whatever it is you're releasing. But this is not a major arcana card. This is the Five of Wands. So it's just a card of conflict. So maybe you're having, as a, as a card for future orientation, you're wanting to release something. And you don't care how angry it makes anybody. If somebody comes at you with anger, well, you're going to have equal anger. And you might end up, because I said it might be some aspect of yourself, you may very well end up um, having <laughs> arguments with the mirror, you know, arguments with yourself or some part of yourself or some part of your history. Um, this figure could also be a friend, a parent, a coworker. But it's, you're needing to really, um, vent might not be the right word, but you're really needing to release some negative energy towards someone, and I'm not sure quite what form it's going to take. And that might be your, your partner's opportunity to be the hero. <laughs> in any case, in the future, um, this beautiful card is what your partner has. This is your partner's intention, his future orientation. Um, so he intends to stick with you to be a strong and positive force in your life. So that is a beautiful, beautiful card. There is no backing off in terms of your partner. Regardless of how much you rise or, or how much there might be any conflict, he's there like this, tried and true. He's there regardless of the conflict, whether it's in himself or in you or other people, he's going to be there. Um, what you're holding on to. So this is the card that popped and this is the card that um, just kind of came up um, at the appropriate moment. So again, I get the feeling of space, making a space, controlling your space, you got the funky lizard there, um, and I feel like that lizard in this case is like you have your private space, but it's not something, you know, people can in fact somehow reach you there, um, you know, so you're not completely isolated, you know, you're open to being interrupted, you might say. Um, and this, of course, is joyful. Um, socializing. This is the Three of Cups. It's a card of friendship. A friendship and happy socializing and activities. Um, so really, you're holding on to being yourself. <laughs> That's what you're holding on to. Your partner is holding on to goals. He has certain goals. There's things, you know, this is a hunter, this archer card. Um, and so this is a card of having something that you want and you're focused on it. And in this case, he is prepared to act. And again, he's willing to be your hero. Um, but your partner may have some plans that you're not completely aware of because here you are so relaxed and socializing and he's like, I'm going to get this. I'm going to get this and I think it's for you. That there's something that he's intuiting that you want. Um, you may even have said what you want. Um, there may be even a bit of competitive spirit here. 
uh, again, with you rising and, and him thinking, okay, I've got to up my game. What am I going to, to do for us as a couple to, um, again, still feel like the provider and the hero? So there you go. That is your reading for the next four weeks. Again, if you, um, if this is a time in your life where you are watching how your relationship goes, you're interested in focusing on love and relationships, do subscribe. And I will see you again in about four weeks. Bye-bye.